Welcome back to another avatar focused tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about the bake non-driven blend shapes feature that was added to Neos recently. The bake non-driven blend shapes feature allows you to optimize avatars which have a significant amount of blend shapes to make them load faster and have less memory uh, constraints on both you and the people in your world. If you've ever uh, seen a user load into your world or load into the world and have that hitch where you kind of lag a little bit. One of the reasons that occurs, and that's only one, there's many reasons that occurs, and the Neos team are working on a lot more of them, but one of the reasons that occurs is the amount of blend shapes on your avatar. So this feature will allow you to sort of remove some of those blend shapes and make your avatar load a lot faster and make your avatar a lot um, smaller as well in terms of memory and uh, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that feature works. So I'm gonna pop over here into Smooth POV. In Smooth POV here, I have the Rantachi by Rantis. I'll put a link in the description to it. It is a paid avatar, but I have paid for it. I do have licenses to it. Usually I would uh, pick a more permissive white avatar, uh, but I wanted to show one that had lots of blend shapes, particularly blend shapes which described a sort of thing that you might want to bake. This one has a ton. There's like 140-ish blend shapes. That's a perfect candidate for baking them. So I wanted to show you how to do it on this avatar. It is substitutable for your own avatar. If you have any questions, do let me know. First thing to do when you're doing this is to make sure that you have a backup before you still get going. So make sure that you've saved your current avatar to your inventory. I have a backup of this one in my inventory, so I'm totally fine to go ahead and start playing. Do you remember that this isn't your avatar? You've got it saved, so anything you do is perfectly safe. I've had some people sort of be hesitant to use this feature because they think it's going to affect their avatar that they've saved. It isn't. You can do anything to this avatar. It won't affect your saved in inventory avatar. Let's go ahead and get started. We need to find those blend shapes. I'm going to go ahead and inspect the avatar with secondary. Open Inspector. I'm going to go to the root with the big fat up arrow. I'm going to go into centered root, root node, and select like body. Body might be somewhere different. Just tunnel around under centered root and root node until you find uh, the blend shapes. It's quite easy to find them. Just keep navigating, scrolling down, and then eventually you'll find a big list. Uh, so I thought I'd do a reminder of what blend shapes are. So you can see here there's the uh, VRC, AA, O, O, P, P, E, D, etc. Those are visemes. They change your face. So if I move one of these, you'll see it's doing sort of talking um, talking changes in its mouth. Those are used for the talking parts of an avatar. Um, I was using them earlier when I was talking to you when I was in Smooth POV. That's right, third person. He, that's me, with my visemes running. That's uh, one type of blend shapes. They're also sometimes called shape keys, but here in Neos they're called blend shapes. So here they are. You can see that, like I said, the first set being the visemes. If we scroll down, you'll see that there's uh, emotes, things like uh, scowling, um, worried, sad, smile, cute, all sorts of stuff like that. And if we scroll down even further, you'll see there's things that start customizing the avatar. These are ones where the blend shape list is starting to get crazy. It's great uh, for customizability. It's great for... Um, uh, avatar creators, avatar modifiers, it allows lots of flexibility, lots of customizability. So I don't want that option, that setting going away or the option going away, but I do want people to bake their non-driven blend shapes uh, to optimize their avatars. As a couple, I mean by sort of body modification blend shapes. If I go ahead and uh, come around here to the right, so we've got more sort of side profile here. You'll see there's a torso blend shape and a tummy blend shape, which combined together will make the avatar look a lot fatter. We can also combine that with, say, butt or thighs, and then they're starting to look a lot larger. There's also ones which will make the paws bigger, uh, giving more definition to the toes, etc. Back up here on the face, there's something like snout and add fangs. So now there's a, a snout, the nose is pushed forward, and there's fangs there. That's an example of sort of body modification uh, blend shapes. They're great for customizability. In a couple of blend shapes here, I've given the avatar a completely different view, a completely different sort of character. It looks a lot more sort of uh, almost threatening of those big big fangs and paws. Anyway, um, that aside, if we scroll down to the bottom of the list of blend shapes, you'll see there's even more. There's even um, these Japanese ones here, which are used for uh, VRM or the uh, um, uh, MMD sort of systems. But right down underneath that, there's the bake non-driven blend shapes uh, button right here. This is the button that we need to concentrate on. So when you push this button, it will bake any non-driven blend shape and do that optimization path. What do we mean by non-driven though? So if you scroll up through the list of blend shapes, back up to the top here, you'll see that all the visemes have got this pink coloration to them. And that means that they are driven. These ones won't be baked because they're pink. Anything else will be baked because it is not pink. Something important to note when you do bake is that uh, anything that has been changed, so for example down here we added the snout, we added the fangs, that will be factored in. It won't be forgotten. It will bake their current state. So for example, if I only wanted half a snout, I could bake it with half a snout and that would be reflected. 
to demonstrate that now, with that snout being in place, I can go ahead and bake non-driven blend shapes. And then you'll see, hey, the avatar is the same, but those blend shapes have disappeared. You can also see here it has baked 131 blend shapes, which means this avatar will be a lot more optimal to load and uh, exist in a session now because it's uh, a lot lighter. Um, and you'll see none of those blend shapes have uh, been left behind except the ones that were pink. That's essentially the feature at its core. I've seen a few people that have been sort of hesitant to do that because they're worried about losing progress. I wanted to provide some uh, factors there that might help you out. So number one is make sure you keep a backup before you do this process. I recommend making folders optimized, unoptimized. That lets you go back and work on the unoptimized one. Trust me, this process is worth it. It only takes a few minutes and uh, you'll have a lot better optimized avatar. People will be happier having you in their session. It takes a lot a shorter amount of time for you to load, all sorts of stuff like that. The second one question I get is uh, people saying, but what if I don't know if I need that blend shape? And that usually comes up when uh, uh, gestures or expressions are sim. So what I wanted to do is show you how to do that with a little bit of a hack here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, destroy this copy, spawn out the backup copy, which I have in my inventory. Here it is. And what I'm going to show you do uh, how to do here is to preserve some of the blend shapes that you might want to change later. So again, here if we go up to the top of the avatar, find those blend shapes again. Scroll down to the bottom. What we're going to do is artificially drive some of these blend shapes so that they will not be um, baked. To do that, what I'm going to do is turn to the left here. We've got some empty space. I'm going to go create new empty object. With my empty object here, I'm going to go to attach component, relations, value multi-driver T. When that list loads here, I'm going to go ahead and select float. Doesn't matter about the value you put in here. If you're interested in value multi-driver, there is a link in the video description that talks about value multi-driver and a lot more sort of useful cases. This one is really just sort of a hack to keep those blend shapes available. Hit add as many times as you like, literally as many times as you like, doesn't really matter. And then drag in any blend shape you want to keep. So let's say I wanted to keep sweat. I'll swap sweat in there. Let's say I wanted to keep um, scowl because I want to do a scowl gesture next. Let's say I wanted to keep uh, the visemes that for some reason aren't being used. I would have to look into that more later. I can do those. Let's say I wanted to keep look up and look down because those sound important. Let's scroll down. Let's say I wanted to keep blush. It's very important to keep blush. I want to keep both blushes because I wanted to do a blush blend shape or a blush gesture later. And let's keep blap, of course. So you go keep going through those, keep dragging in blend shapes that you want to keep there. That will turn them pink in this list. So for example here, blep is now pink, the blushes are pink. And go all the way down to the bottom again here, we can hit bake non-driven blend shapes. You'll see that baked 121. You'll see that the blend shapes we wanted to keep are still here. So sweat, blink, eye scowl, blush, blush, blep, they're all there. Then just delete this empty object. They'll return to their non-pink state and then you can still use them like normal and you'll be able to hook those up to various gestures and uh, systems that you want later on. Uh, again, that did reduce it down. We got rid of 121 blend shapes, and we can still play around with those non-driven ones that now are non-driven because we deleted that value uh, multi-driver. So there you go, that's that feature. I do want to emphasize again, please do a go ahead and do this. It's a great optimization for your avatar. I know it might seem like a lot of work, but trust me, you're going to have a lot better time playing Neos, loading your avatar, and a lot of people are going to like you for doing it. So wherever possible, go ahead, bake those non-driven blend shapes, and I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, leave them again in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.